So good evening, everyone. My name is Tammy Zunker, and I am the Elementary Math and Early Childhood Coordinator for Conroe ISD, and I'm so happy to be with you this evening. So what we're going to do this evening is talk a little bit about um, registration for the 2020-21 school year. Initially, we're going to talk specifically about registration for our kindergartners, um, but then as we get onto the website and we look about registering, you'll uh, hear me talk about that really this is while it is the way to register our kindergartners, it is also the way to register any new student who enters into Conroe IST for next year. We're just happy to be here with you. So let's talk about kindergarten for just a second. So um, our kindergartners, you know, for a lot of our five-year-olds, this is the first year for them to enter school. And so um, it's our opportunity to welcome them with open arms, with lots of love and concern and care. And so our kindergarten environment for our five-year-olds is a literacy-rich environment. Well, they will experience guided reading, shared reading, um, phonological awareness, phonics, word work, um, lots of great writing, lots of great things wrapped around literature. Um, in math, science, and social, stu social studies, they'll experience lots of hands-on learning um, with active involvement. We like to in all these environments, pr provide that opportunity for anchor stations and um, transitioning between um, things so the kids are, are active and moving. And then this is all wrapped in a beautiful package where we uh, make sure that uh, the children are um, adjusting to through uh, the classroom environment through our social and emotional learning um, with play and get along together and um, understanding the structures of what it's like to come to school. And so kindergarten is just, if you want to find a happy place to be, walk down to kindergarten and that's the place to be. So what I want to show you is a couple of places you can reach out if you have questions during this process. So the first thing you're going to see here is um, a phone number and an email, registration at connorisd.net, where you can reach out with any questions um, as you go through the registration process. You know, right now we're, we're doing our registration online because of COVID-19, but we want to make sure we're giving that opportunity to at least get partial part of your registration taken care of um, so that as things get back up and running, um, you can finish the registration. Also, you're going to see a slide that talks about the contacts that you can reach out to. So you're going to see my name there. Again, I'm Tammy Zunker. I'm the Elementary Math and Early Childhood Coordinator, and you'll have my contact information. Jonathan Doria is the Early Childhood Specialist. He will actually be following up this live Facebook uh, with uh, one in Spanish for our Spanish speakers. And then you're going to see Lindsay Johnson listed. She's my administrative assistant, uh, the administrative assistant for both math and early childhood. And if you reach out to her, she can um, answer your questions or find the answer for you. So those are some great contacts for you. Um, so what does it take to register? What do you have to do? What do you have to, what qualifies you as uh, to register uh, uh, for kindergarten? Well, your child just needs to be five, year, five years old by September 1. Um, you know, a question I always get is what if they're five on September 2nd or September 5th? Well, we follow the state guideline here and your child must be five on September 1 in order to register for kindergarten. So that is, uh, that is a very hard and fast rule. Um, what else do you need to know? Well, you need to know what documents you have to provide in order to register. So we're gonna ask for a copy of the child's birth certificate, a copy of proof of residence. So that can be a utility bill, water bill, gas bill, electric bill with the parent or guardian's uh, name on it. If that's not able to be provided, there is another document that can be notarized um, and provided if you don't have that. Social Security card, if you have it. If not, a state ID can be provided for you. Um, um, I think that's it. Oh, and a photo ID. So those are the things, the documents that are required. What we're asking you to do right now due to COVID-19 is because we are respecting and keeping everyone safe, we're asking you to upload these documents if you have the capabilities to do so. Um, so that might be able to be done through a computer or a different uh, avenue. But one thing I shared the other night for pre-kindergarten that I'm going to share is if you have an iPhone, you can go into your notes app on your phone. And when you click the notes app, if you look down at the bottom, you're going to see your camera. And when you click on the camera, you have the opportunity to do three things, scan documents, 
take photo or video, or go to your photo library. So if you scan, if you click scan documents, it allows you to hold your phone over a document, scan it, and it uploads it, and you can attach it, uh, save it in your photos or wherever, uh, or in your if you have another place to save, you can save it in your notes, and then you can attach it um, as you're registering. So that is definitely an option for you. If you're not an, able to upload your documents at this time, you will go ahead and complete the portion of the registration that you can, and then as we move forward, um, later into the summer probably, the registrar, the PIMS clerk registrar from your campus will reach out to you and set up a time to get the documents um, that they're that are needed. So I've already gotten a few emails that have asked, when will that be? Well, that's not an answer we really have for you right now. And so I would say, you know, give it some time. Um, and and they are well, well aware and they're working now as well. So they're seeing what's going on behind the scenes. And when, when we are able to have face-to-face -face meetings and take documents, you will be re reached out to, okay? So one of the things we wanna do next is um, look at, so how do we register our students? Um, so we're going to switch over to a screen that takes you to the Connor ISD webpage. And after we do this, we'll take questions, okay? So when you log into the Connor ISD webpage, at the bottom right here in the center, you're gonna see online registration for the 2020-2021 school year. When you click on this, it's gonna take you to another screen. And I'm gonna show you a few things on this page, okay? So one thing I wanna talk about real quick is, because I've already had some people that have clicked on the wrong link. So you're gonna notice here, you have 2020-21, and then right here, you have this school year, which is 2019-2020. If you go down here, and you click the link down here that is around 2019, 2020, you're going to be registering child for this, your child for this current year that we're in. So you wanna make sure that you're up here where it says 2020, 2021, okay? So I'm gonna take you there in just a second, but I'm gonna scroll down because I wanna show you what if you're new to Conroe and you don't know where your child, what school your child attends. Um, so if you come down just a little further, right here where it says find your neighborhood school, you would click on that and when it opens up, you're gonna have the ability here to type in your address and you it's it gives you an example right here of how they want you to type it in and you need to be really uh, respectful of that because it won't take it if you type it in in the wrong format. So I'm gonna type in an address here So for example, it wants me to put Conroe, but it doesn't want me to put Texas. So I'm not going to put that in. And you have to put in your zip code. And then I'm going to hit search. And when I hit search and I scroll down using this bar right here, you're gonna see that it shows me if I live at that address, my elementary school. So if I have a child that is in first through fourth, kindergarten, excuse me, well, pre-K actually, pre-K through fourth grade, they would attend Giesinger Elementary. Intermediate school, which in Conroe is fifth and sixth grade, would attend Cryer Intermediate, Pete Junior High for our seventh and eighth graders, and then um, Conroe High for our high school. We do have CHS 9, um, a different campus for our ninth graders, but registration is taken care of um, through high school. So I wanted to show you that because I think that's really important, especially if you're new to Conroe or you've bought a new home, you might not know which elementary your child um, attends. So I'm gonna show you that one more time. Let's go back here. So you click here, and this is the new student registration, but to get to where does my, what neighborhood school does my child attend, you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna see right here, find your neighborhood school. Now be very careful here. What does that say right above it, guys? That says, Family Porter for Portal for 2019-2020. If you click on that, you're gonna be registering for this school year. So make sure you're checking out that year really closely. I mean, it can be fixed, but I would hate for you to have to go through that process um, more than one time. So I'm gonna scroll back up. I'm gonna go ahead right here and click to uh, new student uh, registration. You'll notice underneath that, it does say pre-kindergarten and kindergarten information. That takes you to the early childhood website, which you can access 
the same information plus more um, about early childhood and Connor ISD, but this link right here will also take you to uh, registration. So when you click on this, it's going to ask you one of two things. It's either going to ask you to sign in or it's going to ask you to create an account. Now, if you are registering a kindergartner and you have a sibling that has already is already attending Connor ISD, you're gonna sign in here because you already have a sibling in the system. If you try to create an account and you use an email you've previously used for a sibling, it's going to tell you. You do need to remember the email that you used when you registered uh, the brother or the sister. If you forget the password, clearly you can see that you can go down here and um, do forgot password. If your kindergartner or a new student to the district is brand new, new to Conroe, not have attended before, then you can come over here and create an account um, and proceed that way. Once you log in, it's going to start asking you questions and you're simply going to answer the questions and follow through the process, okay? If you have any questions, then you will go back to, um, you can email Conroe uh, registration at conroeisd.net or you can call the phone number provided here and they uh, will answer any of your questions. Our, our uh, PEMS department is on top of that. Um, and I've actually actually forwarded some emails to them today that I felt they could better answer them myself. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to see, um, does anyone have any questions? Okay, so I, what I see here is are, are immunizations required to register? Yes. Uh, we are aware that you may not be able to schedule those at this time due to circumstances, um, but and campuses will be in communication with you. However, in order for a child to begin school on August 12th, when school begins, uh, immunizations will have to be taken care of. Um, so yes, the answer to that is yes. When will parents know what class their child is in? So that is handled by um, the elementary uh, campus that your child attends. Um, I usually different ways. Sometimes they're posted. Sometimes you receive a postcard in the mail. Sometimes you get an email, but that is, uh, you would want to reach out to your campus for that information. When, does, when do parents receive their child's student ID? I think that happens when you are, uh, when you go through the registration process, your child will be provided a six digit ID at that time. Um, can parents go back into the system to upload documents if they weren't able to do that the first time? Um, parents, no, parents will be contacted by the school registrar to submit any missing documents. I don't think it'll let you go back in and upload documents. They will reach out to you um, to collect those from you. Can a seventh grader be registered? Yes, registration is open for all students in all grades um, for next school year. So we are talking about kindergarten specifically because we know we have a lot of kindergartners because kinder is the first year, but any student that's new to the district. Now, if your seventh grader attended this year, they will be placed for next year um, into classes based on the schedule sheet that they filled out. But if you're talking about a seventh grader that is new um, to Connor ISD, yep, it is open and you can go in and follow the process, uh, the procedure that I just showed you. If a child was enrolled in pre-K, do they have to register for kindergarten? No. If a child was enrolled in pre-kindergarten last year in Connor ISD, they will be uh, put into a class for kindergarten um, for this year. When will school supply lists be posted? They are tr traditionally, our school supply lists go up in June. Um, on your child's, uh, you can go to your school, your school's webpage and find that. Can a six-year-old enter kindergarten? A six-year-old's in Conroe. Um, a six-year-old as of September 1 would be in first grade. So it, that sounds like a question that might I might need more information on. But um, a six-year-old in Conroe would be enrolled in first grade. Um do students taking speech therapy need to be registered? Yes, any student who's um, in, just enrolled for speech as a three-year-old or a four-year-old, 
They are not registered to attend Conroe ISD through our registration process. Um, they're, that is handled through a different department. So yes, they need to register. Can parents choose the school they want their child to attend? No, your, your child needs to attend the school and that they're zoned to attend. So if you go back to what I said about going in to see which child, which school your child would attend, um, that is the process for that. What documents are required? So let's go back. Maybe we can go back to our document slide while we're while we have this up. Um, so you need copy of their birth certificate, proof of residency. So that can be a water bill, gas bill, electric bill. It needs to have the parent or guardian's name on it. Um, you can also provide a lease to an apartment. If the, one of those items can't be provided with a parent or guardian's name, I'm going to tell you that what it's called, then a residency verification form can be completed and received from the PIMS clerk at your campus. And then that would need to be notarized if I'm not mistaken. Um, social security card, if you have one for your child, if you don't have a social security card, um, a state ID can be provided for your child in place of that. Um, and then a photo ID of the adult that's registering the child will be needed, a copy of that. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I don't see any other questions coming in. So um, I think that's it. So remember you can, oh, here comes another one. <laughs> is school starting on time? As of right now, that is our goal. Um, that is forever, you know, uh, that is a, uh, something that is forever changing. But as of right now, that is our goal. But I do not think we have a 100% solid answer on that. So it looks like that is all of our questions. Again, registration at connorisd.net. The phone number that is provided is there for you. Um, we are here to help and to serve. We hope everyone is staying safe. We miss our kids. We miss our Connor ISD kids. I miss our Connor ISD teachers. So um, we hope everyone is doing well out there. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Have a great evening. Thank you.